Autograph lets you mix several audio sources in a composition. This mix can then be used to drive graphic elements. To add a set of audio tracks to a composition, we need to use what's known as an audio mix. By default, you can't add audio elements to a composition in the stack since the stack is dedicated to the visual rendering of a composition. If you want to add audio elements to a composition, you have to create an audio mix. Clicking on the Create Audio Mix button will add a new item to the project panel. This audio mix can then be connected to a composition via the audio source parameter. Doing this will create a second zone in the timeline dedicated to audio elements. An audio mix is a stack that's entirely dedicated to audio elements, separate from the visual stack. Visual elements are combined in the top part and audio elements are mixed in the bottom part. There are two buttons at the bottom of the timeline that allow you to maximize the space for the visual section or the audio section just by adjusting the position of the green separator. Keep in mind that selecting a composition and disconnecting the audio mix will prevent you from hearing any sound during playback. This way of connecting an audio mix and a composition lets you have multiple audio mixes in the same project. For example, in the case of a multilingual project, you can create two audio mixes, one dedicated to an English version and the other to a French version. You can dynamically replace one audio mix with another. Disconnecting an audio mix to replace it with another will not only change the audio content of the composition, but if the audio was being used, for example, to apply a distortion on any visual elements, the distortion will change too, according to the replaced audio mix. There is a way to create a composition and connected audio mix in a single step, using the button at the top of the project panel, which lets you create both elements at the same time and automatically set the composition audio source to the audio mix. In this video, we went over how to create an audio mix, connect an audio mix to a composition, and display the audio section in the timeline.